Hi, I am back with a much requested video all about our homeschool curriculum this year. Um, before I begin, I want to mention that we are an eclectic learning bunch. So we aren't specific to any kind of philosophy or style. I honestly am a little bit of everything. A little Charlotte Mason, a little unschooling, a little bit of classical, and so that shows in the curriculum choices that we've chosen. Before I start, I wanted to show everyone, hopefully the hopefully it's not going to be super glary, Homeschooling Your Way, A Field Guide to Intuitive Planning by me is now officially available for purchase on Amazon Kindle. And it is for an affordable price of $1.99. And just to let everyone know what it's about, it's a small collection of what I like to consider conversations. Um, these are things that my friends have specifically asked um, to sit down and talk with me about. So it goes through things like finding your why in homeschooling and um, the different learning styles of each child and how to homeschool more than one and um, what to do when you're, you feel like you're running behind and how to take care of yourself as the homeschooling mama. So it's got those types of conversations in there and then you'll get a peek into how we actually go about our homeschool day. And that starts with planning and the first day of school, which is my personal favorite around our house, um, and just different things like that. So just wanted to shoot that out there because I did mention in my last video that I had a book that was launching and it officially launched Monday. So we are a couple days in and so once again, Homeschooling Your Way by me, Heather A. Mattern, and it's available for $1.99 for you guys to go ahead and dive into. Let me know what you think. I would love it if you feel inclined to review it. Um, on Amazon or Goodreads. I would love that. That's the hardest part is getting people who read your books to actually give them a review. So that's enough of that. Let's get into curriculum. All right, so I'll start with history, but just so you guys know, um, those of you who have read my book uh, will know more about how we do our school. We usually sit down and interview each child as a family, we'll sit down together and ask everyone what they loved, what they didn't like, and what they want, uh, what they're interested in studying. And this year, because my two oldest teenagers are obsessed with the musical Hamilton, they haven't seen it, they just listen to it <laughs> and know all the songs by heart. And so this year, they're really interested in the Revolutionary War. So that's going to be where I start with our history. What I have done is I bought history through the ages starting at 1750 and going through 2003. So we're going to use, we used a bunch of different things. So we're going to start with this and supplement depending on who we're studying. So they have things like, you know, James Watt, they even have like Jane Austen, a um, little information about her, Alexander, Elizabeth Fry. So what I'm wanting to do is to supplement a lot of the reading material. So like when we're studying Jane Austen, to possibly read one of her books and kind of use it as a, a um, unit study, but not fully scheduled as a unit study. So we're going by the timeline. This, will, this is gonna be our base for our history this year. And once again, I have a 11th grader, I have a 9th grader, and then a 5th grader who does some 6th grade work and some 4th grade work. So just to get a big variety for you guys as I go through these books. My 11th grader is doing early college, so she actually will be taking two classes at our local community college. Um, so all of her English is not is going to be out of my hands and she's going to be able to count that both for college and for high school and that is specific to our state. Um, so I know different states are different but 
So all that English, I don't have to, I don't have to do that this year for her. And then she's also taking psychology, and so we're counting that as a elective for her transcripts. Um, so along with the history timeline, I picked up this book. This is the Journal of William Thomas Emerson. It's one of the Dear America books um, on the revolutionary on a Revolutionary War patriot. And so I thought this would be a fun read for my son for him to go through. And then my oldest will be reading Hamilton. Um, the biography and I don't have that yet I went to pick it up but it's cheaper on Amazon so I will be purchasing it there um, so she'll be reading Hamilton and there's a couple other library books we're going to be getting along the way uh, that are specific to the Revolutionary War okay next I guess I'll talk about math we are big fans of teaching textbooks this was our first year using teaching textbooks and um, thankfully a friend of mine had the algebra program and so my two daughters have been going through that and we love it so my oldest is moving on to algebra 2 because she has already done um, a good bit of geometry and my ninth grader is still going to be using the algebra one she only did because it was she kind of jumped ahead in her math so she's been going through it a lot slower so she's taking two years to go through algebra one and that's another benefit of homeschooling so this is my oldest teaching text teaching textbooks algebra two and I was able to luckily find it at our homeschool store used so I didn't have to pay because it's it's not a cheap program but I promise you it is worth it then I got this book understanding mathematics from counting to calculus and my son and I are going to be working our way through this it's really great because it explains why math is important and you start with basic addition and subtraction and then the further up you get you know it goes through I mean you've got geometry you've got a bunch of different I mean you can see so addition, subtraction, division, multiplication. So we're just going to slowly work our way through and see how far we get. And then next year he will go into teaching textbooks just like his sisters. All right. And we usually, he's done horizons math up until this point, but he wasn't feeling it. He wanted something new. So that's what I picked up. Okay. Next we're going to talk about English and literature and all that good stuff. This is how to read a book and my middle daughter who is starting ninth grade will be starting with this for her English and literature. Also, you know, we use a lot of the library so she's going to be going through this and dissecting it. So she'll be taking notes and yeah, so this is what she's going to be going through her main textbook and then from here She'll be using the information that she's learning and applying it to each book that she reads. I also picked up, this is a classical conversations book and it is on short stories. And we've never really done a whole lot of short stories. So I wanted to spend some time, I just thought it was a really cool book and wanted to spend some time introducing some short stories to my kids. So this will probably be like what we read around the lunch table just because it's fun and there are questions to ask for comprehension to make sure that uh, the kids are understanding what they're reading and it's just a fun book so I picked that up. Also my son will be going through the handwriting without tears can do print book. This is for, let me read it, I read the beginning. It's for like older children who want to have neater handwriting um, and aren't really interested in cursive he will learn cursive but for now we got to get his handwriting a bit neater so this has I just love that it's it has some writing like sentences and just really cool so I, I use handwriting without tears with my older two when they were in elementary school so and they tended to enjoy it. So we'll see. We'll see what he thinks of this. Um, each child is different. So just because my girls loved it does not mean that he will. 
that is most of our curriculum. My kids just got back from wilderness camp. And so for our science, I have those books. Actually, let me see if I can pull it up. I have two books on the Kindle that my kids are going to be going through. I should have done this beforehand. Let's see. They're doing earth science and um, I'm expecting them to write, it's not pulling it up. Um, we're doing earth science. So they're gonna go into all the things they learned from wilderness camp and diving deeper. So for example, my son got a bug bite before he left and how they cared for it out in the wilderness. He's gonna be researching that. Um, he ran into a beaver. They had a beaver while they were canoeing just come alongside. So we're gonna be going into um, learning about beavers. So all the things that they actually have a relationship with because they experienced, um, we're gonna be diving into and um, hopefully doing notebooking along with that. So I'll kind of keep you guys posted the more we get into our year and let you know how things have worked um, and which things we've loved. Let's see if this. So here is one. There are two separate books. This is the Earth Science Middle School. I don't know if you can see. The CK-12 Earth Science Middle School book and these are both free on the Kindle so I'm just gonna use it and read it if we feel like it um, and then I also have the k-12 earth science high school so just as a little supplemental you know if we want a little more information um, so that's that's our science we also are big nature people so we're gonna continue with our nature walks using the handbook of nature study and that's basically it. I did pick up, I wanted to show two other books that I found. This one, I've not read these yet, so I can't really fully give a review. This one is called The Reading Promise, and my husband and I are gonna be reading this together. It is the story of a father and daughter who started to, um, they decided to read books together and it's just their story starting when she was in fourth grade and going through adulthood and it just sounds really sweet and because we do have a struggling reader um my husband and i are going to read this together and yeah we're very excited about it it looks really sweet the other book is by donalyn miller called the book whisperer Awakening the Inner Reader in Every Child, and I will be reading this. I'm actually going to be starting it today. So I'll have to give you guys my opinion on the thoughts of all of this once we actually dive in. We are starting school Monday, but our official first day won't be until Tuesday. Monday we are going to be um, working with autistic children um, at the beach, and we're going to be, um, there's a surfing program that we're very excited to finally be participating in. So I'm totally counting that at school as school because we can and it's educational and we'll probably study um, when we get home and learn about autism. So we love that we're finally being educated and can actually have hands-on experience uh, just loving other people. So I'll have to keep everyone updated and um, we're excited to start. Thanks for hanging out with me and for yeah, listening to me ramble. So I hope everyone has an amazing beginning to their school year. And I would love to know what, what if you're a homeschool mama, I would love to know what you're using um, for different curriculums. And if you have any Revolutionary War recommendations, because that is what my children are very excited about right now in, um, to learn more about, let me know because I would love to check it out. All right, talk to everyone later.